If ancient glyphs sketch an outline of Maya culture in black and white, the Po Pol Wu fills it with color. Po Pol Wu, the book for the council mat, is possibly the most important source for understanding Maya religion and civilization, from ancient to modern times. Its text has a rich diversity of such subjects. This episode will glance at a few of the epic tales' most important contributions to our study. From west to east and from north to south, art across the ancient Maya land points to ideas or episodes found in the tale. While this in itself doesn't mean that every region had the same telling of the story, the uncanny frequency with which certain themes appear over great distances suggests that the area shared a common lore. The Po Pol Wu references many such general ideas among the Maya. One example comes from the episode with Seven Macaw, whom we will return to in a later episode. This part featured a brilliant parrot whose power rivaled that of the creators. And so we find Macaw images at sites of political power, such as palaces and temples from Yucatan in the north, Copan in the east, and Tikal in the Peten heartland. Indeed, in this very example, one of the hero twins is directly confronting the villain of Seven Macaw, a scene vividly described in the Popol Wu itself. Another Maya concept was the monkey as a symbol for art and writing. Here a monkey is adorned in noble ornaments to highlight the elite status and prestige that royal scribes could enjoy. In the story, the hero twins' half-brothers are artists and scribes, and they have monkey names. A detail worth noting is that though the Po Pol Wu does seem to reference a significant number of episodes found across the Maya area, it does not mention all of them from the entire mythical cycle. Many texts and paintings from the classic period, 200 to 900 AD, allude to moments involving the corn god, who had a prevalent role in the myth despite his absence in the Po Pol Wu. The myth also hints at astronomy. Returning to the hero twins' half-brothers, their tree-climbing escapades as monkeys could explain the retrograde path of Mars, which is itself synced with the monkey sign and the Maya calendar, according to Dennis Tedlock. Including the monkey twins, several major characters in the Po Pol Wu are named after the sacred calendar, using 260 days counting every combination of 13 numerals and 20 signs. These include underworld figures and the dominant hero twin, Hunach Pu, or One Blow Gunner. The myth details ritual activities such as the ball game and the bean casting oracle. Today, the Kiche Maya continue to cast Tite beans as divination in parts of Guatemala's southern highlands. And lastly, for today's episode, nuances of social organization bookend the myth. Its latter chapters tell of dynasties and conquests, as well as symbols of political authority transmitted down generations. The next episode will begin the tale itself. Join us for the Maya creation of the world. <laughs>